to what's up everybody tonight, it's Darky Glide, real and always uncut, y'all know that already, uh, I'm gonna talk about my steps towards sobriety, uh, I'm gonna let a few people get in here first, and then we're gonna talk about that tonight, okay, we're gonna talk about, you know, because I heard one person say that, uh, I forgot what it was, but your first step to sobriety is admitting you have a problem not what they had to say you see what i mean that was like the fifth step they was talking about making amends and things like that there's the first step is admitting that you have a problem with drugs that'd be your first step okay uh my problem with drugs didn't really get a hold of me until about 2019 okay uh, I never really had a major problem with them or nothing, you know. And then I started to deal with so much drama that it was unreal. It was overwhelming for me, you know. I had to sleep with one eye open from the girls I was with. You see what I mean? I didn't know if I was going to be robbed or what, you know, or recorded. Or it, it's hard to tell, you know. Things like that. And, and so... It continued, it continued, I, I continued to live that path, you know, just, just getting high and blanking it out, thinking, oh yeah, again, this is a cigarette, but let me light me up a fatty, man, I, I'll take it right away, you know what I mean, you know, or let me hit this, I, I won't think about it no more, fuck those candles, I, I got 12, I've been waiting to burn those bitches, you know, I'm, I'm sure y'all guys know what I'm talking about, okay, and then, you know, it, it is. It went on into 2020 and 2021. Uh, this addiction, you know, toxic arguments. Every day, arguments. We'd argue, you know, who what a couple don't argue. Until it came down to a point in 2022. Okay, and I want to speak about this. Uh, I just couldn't believe how I was incarcerated. You see what I mean? Nobody in the pod that's been in there for years, people that's been in there for murder, couldn't understand the way they had me charged. They had me with four charges, then two, then one. You know, and the police officer guaranteed would never leave magistrate court. Okay, the first thing I do is wait my preliminary hearing. You know what that means? That takes it to circuit court. That means I can be posted on a bond then. You see what I mean? They thought I was going to plead to what's called an obstruction of justice. Well, that cop has a camera on him. I reached my hands right out to him. Had no right to even fucking do what he did to me. That was bullshit. If I was obstructing a cop, guys, and y'all was a cop, would you just sit there and put handcuffs on me? Or would you jerk me around and throw me? Think about that for a second. And... I got all the paperwork right there. They said that uh, Mr. Wall was reading on there by a bunch of ludicrous. And I read it to one of my dudes last night. And he was like, oh, my God, dude. He was like, are you kidding me? I was like, no. No, I'm not. But what I'm really here for is not to talk about the police. They're just doing their job, okay? They don't know what that's going up on. Nothing, you know? So that's, if I was a cop, I'd feel the same way. Okay. You know, they don't know what they're pulling up on, man. You know what I mean? They're just getting a call. They're just saying, people saying, oh, there's arsenals of guns, machine guns. How many machine guns y'all see me shoot, guys? I'm a high deer hunter. See what I mean? Okay, well, they got reports like that. And they was, you know, wrong reports. Okay, and that's why they came like they did. Because I'm pretty sure this is where my cousin Brandon had the shootout right in my yard. Okay, and what it led to, I started doing meth. Just to please her, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna say no names. Just to please what was going on around me. I was drove out of my mind. I couldn't spend a day with my son. You think I wasn't seeing none of that? I was seeing it loud and clear. I was seeing it clear, you know, because I'm ADHD. I take something like that and I'm like, they're all. I can show you that on a prior video on my YouTube, guys. Go watch it. Brandon and Shana back in three years ago. They're everywhere, and I'm just sitting here like this. There's my cousin. She will vouch for that. I've been an ADA. There's my other cousin. I mean, I'm doing so good with this. You know, I don't want to look back 
Thank you. I just got an offer a job back to the coal mines, too, also. They called me. That's the first time that's ever happened. Ever. In my life. Ever. That they called me and asked me if I want to go to work. You damn right, up can you pass a piss? I can. I take three, four piss tests a week. I go to three counseling, four counseling groups a week, baby. Let's get her in. You know, I love you, cuz, and I love you, other cuz. That my one cuz right there is one of my biggest supporters, and the other one is probably my second, third biggest supporter. You gotta have family, guys. If your family ain't going to back you, you know. Exactly. New habits, new routines, people, places, and things. You see what I mean? You gotta stay away from them people, them old places, them old things. They called me a habitual meth user. <laughs> and every family member in here will tell you that's fucking ludicrous. Ludicrous. Just cause a, a dude in jail has some mixed in coffee and they pee test him soon as you get out of jail. And it showed up in my system, you know what I mean? But you know what it showed up from? She told me. It's called GC amphetamine. Don't drink Red Bull or Monster. Because you will, you will get a false positive on amphetamine and methamphetamine. Both of them. Not just one, both. So they sent the motherfucker off. Came back. I've not failed one drug test. And I'm very proud of that. I'm uh, 52 days clean. I mean, uh... Meth was never my problem. Uh, that's right, Kate. Only 2% can recover from that drug because that's a drug that was made by Adolf Hitler, ladies and gentlemen. It's a mind control drug. That's what it is. Your mindset, it's 90% mental, 10% physical. I mean, I am back to dirty people. 160 some fucking pounds. You know what I mean? Not no 140, not no 150. 162 and climbing. I missed my appointment for my fucking implants. You know, I am a complete new person. Anybody that needs help that lives around me, give me a contact, please. I got cards here, everything. I would be more than grateful to help you, man. More than grateful to help you seek treatment. Anybody in the Mingo, Logan, Boone, any surrounding counties like that, even in Virginia in some places, and Pennsylvania, I can seek you help, I promise you. And, you know, that, that's why I watch that, you know, I want to help people. Helping people keeps me, it makes me feel good, and it makes me want to, you know what I mean, stride on my own sobriety. You got to stay proactive. You got to stay proactive, guys. You know? Yeah. Okay, that's a hard one to overcome, but you know in your heart that was never my downfall. You know that. My cousin Stan right there knows I was never a meth addict in my my whole entire life. I do coke first. I'm an honest person. That's what they freaked out about in the room. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Everybody give a congratulations to my cousin right there, Celeste White. That's K-A-D-A-K. Celeste, A-K-A, -A -K Katie White. She's got 20 months clean today from that fucking devil drug. You motherfucking right. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, 52, Kate. I'm 52 days. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's way. Hey, one minute at a time, one second at a time. We got to take it like that. But we're getting there. Look at us. Look how our families came together. Nobody's seen that. They only see what is said on the internet, Kate. Like me and you talked. Mm -mm. No, but there's other ones out there trying to tear it apart. You know exactly what I mean. 52 days, you know what I mean, without touching drugs, man. You know what I mean? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, the wisdom to know the difference just for today. That's an N-A. A-A will say, you know, at the end, they won't say just for today. People is like, where's your chip at? Motherfucker, I, I get plaques, not chips. I am not a mess head. You know what I mean? I've not fell for anything. Anything. Where I want, I ain't fell for Suboxone. I ain't fell for nothing. And I have a medicinal where I want a card if I wanted to. 
It just ain't worth it going back to the same shit, man. These things just gotta go. This is the biggest motherfucker that needs to get out of here. What I say while I go, Kate, sometimes I gotta take it a second at a time. Go out and look at the moon and just, you know what I mean? And take that second as it turns to a fucking minute. And that minute as it turns to, you know, ten. The ten to an hour. That's exactly what I say. I write in my journal every day also. I entry in my journal, things like that. I want you guys to listen to what I'm telling you. My podcast is on Anchor. My podcast is on Spotify. I'm getting ready to release episode two. The ready to release episode two. Uh, we got a, uh, I'm not trying to scam nobody, nothing like that. Uh, if we can raise, I think it's 55 more dollars, something like that, we can do it live. That means we can do the live thing, you know what I mean? And I finally was able to get my cash app unlocked, and that was stolen when I was put in jail. People don't know the half of what happened to me. Only my family does, my, the ones that I want to know, know what happened to me. Y'all was only hearing what people was putting on the internet, and that's coming to a very, very abrupt end. Very abrupt end. I ain't spending all my days and all this shit down in courthouses for nothing. Think about that, guys. For some reason, my shit ain't working right. Okay, hold on. I thought about it. I thought about writing a book, man. You know what I mean? I just... Uh, I would have to involve a lot of my family members into it, and, you know, I would want to have their consent, of course, before I would write any kind of book, you know, something like that. I wouldn't, you know, I can't believe my uncle my uncle goes down there, you know, and says, this is Jess Conalita approved. You should have seen what the judge said about that. <laughs> he was pissed. He was pissed. I mean, come on. I mean, Jess Conalita approved a dog grown family like that, say so you're going to shoot their house up and shit. Congratulations, Mike. Everybody give Mike a hand. Come on, guys. Everybody congratulate Mike in there, man. You know? Uh, yeah, it just depends on what kind of podcast you're running, what kind of content you're running, things like that, brother. You know what I mean? You're not going to slip me up and no, you know, nothing like that. I am, Kate. Best believe that. You see me. You know me. Do I look clean? Cuz, that's my family. Everybody in here, do I look clean to you guys? Does Darky look clean? Or does he look like he's fucked up on something? What? I got a piss tomorrow. <laughs> I got group tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. There you go, haters. Thank you, Michael, man. I know I'm clean, brother. You know what? All that matters is like, you know, me and my counselor talk. You know in your heart when you get up every morning what you put in your body. You see what I mean? And I hope you guys can tell the difference, you know, from my sound. Right there. That's what my cousin just said. Everybody said, dude, you sound so different now, like the darky that we used to follow so much. You get what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I decided to get with the, some girls off the internet, and they drug me down in a hole. You see what I'm saying? And one I was deeply, madly in love with, but this last one tried to put me in a hole, man. Like in a hole that I could never come out of, and I didn't do anything. I'm an innocent person. You ever heard the song Hurricane by Bob Dylan? You know that girl who played that fucking song every day? About putting an innocent fucking person in jail. For the one time he could have been the champion of the world. You should hear some of the music I've been writing. Oh yeah. Yes. Now my ex ex, she wants to be a rapper. I speak to her sometimes. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I mean? No hate whatsoever. Mm -mm. No hate. Nothing but love there. I was baptized with that girl and stuff. You know, there'll always be something there. Listen. Hear the sirens? Look what they're turning Boone County into, guys. Here. Dude, okay, check this out. I was sitting here the other night. 49, 50 days sober. 50 days. Four state troopers walked in my yard again. 
to knock on my door to ask him where my friend is. Like the fuck I know. Like I know. I agree 100% with Michael. I'm not, you know what I mean? Try to, no, okay, I'm done with that. It's all about me. I gotta focus on me right now. You see what I mean? There you go. Worry about yourself. I got me to worry about right now. Not some girl that's, you know what I mean? Just off to be, oh, you're a dirt here, it is. Yeah, you heard that, Shelby. And this dope is killing them left and right. You know what I mean? And then I, I receive a message from the person the cops knocked on my door and asked for just now after I heard them sirens. God damn, two plus two equals four every time in my book. You wouldn't believe what, on my search warrant it says they found a bag of leaves. Leaves, people. Leaves. Fucking leaves. You think I smoked leaves when I smoked weed? That's really what, you know what I mean? Oh, you know I'll take care of Derek. It's my proud and joy. That was my proudest moment in the world, being able to watch him kill his first deer. I was the happiest man in the world when he brought that deer off that hill. Me and him hugged and cried. I've never, let me tell you something, guys. I've raised my son my whole life. My cousins will sit there and vouch for that. A lot of my fans will. Okay? I've been put down. I don't care. I don't worry about nothing like that. Nothing YouTube. Nothing like that. Because I know who I am. I know what I do. Okay? The only thing that matters to me in this life is my child. My child is everything to me. The only thing that caused me to drop one tear when I went to jail is my child. You know what he said to me? It, 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 not only my child said it, two or three other people said it. You might need to stay in there a little bit. Look how you're acting. You think that didn't touch my fucking heart? Bam. See what I'm saying? And I understood right then. I understood at that moment right then what that child was meaning to me. I'm almost ready to cry. You see what I'm saying? It's meaning, you know, I want my dad back. I want my daddy back. I'm not this crazy dude that's running around arguing constantly. We can't go out to eat. We can't go out to a store to shop because, you see what I mean? There would be a constant argument. And like my son said, Dad, you never, ever raised a hand. Thank you, son. You see what I mean? It was just, it was absurd, you know? I even went to see my friend one day. Right there he is, right there, just popped on. I was like, dude, I love your new jersey uniform like that. On that day, I was supposed to done create a malicious wound and everything. That boy right there tell you there was nobody maliciously hurt or anything, man. We was going shopping for my mother's birthday. And I've never once said a name either. Never once. And I'm not saying that. But, yeah, I mean, it don't take rocket science, guys. See what I mean? Damn right, it makes it hurt more. It makes it hurt like it hurts you've never hurt. You know what I'm saying, Steven? I mean, it hurts. It hurts like you've never, ever hurt before. Like, my song right now is Justin Moore. That's my boy. Okay. No, wait, I just bought tickets to go see Aaron Lewis. You know, Junior loves Aaron Lewis, so does I. Since fucking Mud Shovel, I mean, all that shit. Okay, you know, and I, can, I just can't wait for this. It's going to be a, another father-son moment. He's taking his girlfriend to see it to uh, Morgan Waller. I said, shit, you need to be going to watch Willer Walker. That's my boy. <laughs> Ever been fucked? Fuck, fuck, by redneck, spread, 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 by an inbred. Stained, he is the, yeah, maker stained, all that, but it's Aaron Lewis, it's all Aaron Lewis. He got off that. Why do you think he made us on country style? He's calling him out in Hollywood, California, just like my whole family did. Change your style, whiten your smile, you can use it, you don't need your friends around, you know what I mean? No, mm -mm, that ain't me. And I'll smoke, you see what I mean? That's what he meant by that. And have you ever heard him make another mainstream song since? Nope. Okay, another fact. 
another fashion. Jelly Roll. With one song, got one of the amazingest rolls ever to open up a shinedown. Think about that. My hat goes off to him because me and Jelly have performed. I mean, he knows that. He can just admit that all he wants is me, Mini Tim, Haystack, Nappy, Skillmore, and Jelly Roll. Yeah, that's what I said. His acoustic music is amazing. Have y'all listened to Turn the Page or Black or anything by him doing that live? Aaron Lewis destroys that shit, man. And he plays a lot of guitars like I play, you know, Martins, Gibsons, Taylors, thing like that. Yeah, and he's a hunter. I think there you go, you know what I mean? That's right, Lamar. You know what's up, brother. You know you know what's up. That's what we are, you know what I mean? My son got his first buck this year. You know what he got it with? That seven foot member at thirty or six I bought him. I showed on to just bought it for him. They took it and sighted it in. He said it was barely off. And nineteen six they made these guns only from nineteen sixty to nineteen eighty. I can't be around guns right now, of course. Um fucking honest, stupid ass pawn. But anyway, check it out. Fucking that nineteen sixty two thirty out six. When I shot when I shot that gun when I first bought it for him a month and a half, two months ago, something like that. I wasn't on a bond or nothing. That gun scope was still dead on. Because that was the first day. Yeah, he bow hunts too. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's got a crossbow I bought for him. He's got compounds I bought for him. We're going back to look at another PSE that we checked out over there. You know what I mean? It was so funny because uh, everybody thought, you know, someone had paid for my son's stuff. No, some sugar daddy paid for it. And I just laughed about it. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, well. And I was like, you messing with the wrong ones, my man. That's more than only fans. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I'm saying, brother? That's more than only that. But anyway, you know, I want to still talk about my sobriety here. If you need anybody to reach out to, I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding, guys. I have my card right here. Everything. You need somebody to reach out to, please just give me a, you know what I mean? Give me an inbox text. I'll get you right to these people that can help you if you're struggling with an addiction like heroin or something like that. You know what I mean? They'll, try, they'll, they'll put you on, you know what I mean? The Suboxone program. You see what I mean? They'll give you 14 of those and you pay two times a week. See, I keep all this now. Ain't none of my friends or nothing ever going to OD in front of me again. I have boxes for it everywhere. And I have, you know what I mean, working on my first responder stuff. My neighbor's a first responder. The other one, I saved his ass for the first responders. Got there. Okay. I almost got, I'm working on 60, my man. Two months. Two months almost. I'm getting there, Stephen. Nicotine and caffeine. It feels so good to be clean and sober and a part of society, you know, like I said, I said his life, you know, before. And that's why I want to be a first responder. And if anybody, like I said, please reach out to me. Please reach out to me. This right here is our quick response team. Everything's confidential. Everything is confidential. You know what I mean? And there's offices in Mingo County, Logan County, Boone County, and... If you need help in another state or a different county, feel free. You know what I mean? Do not. Your first step, guys, is saying, oh, yeah, I'm an addict. Help me, Durkey. Help me, somebody. I can't live this life no more. Methadone kill me, bub. But I understand where you're coming from right there. That's why I had to go through the Suboxone program to save my ass. See what I'm saying? I thought I could do all this other shit on top of that methadone. Woke up dead and shit. With urine running down my legs and everything. And thought I was four years behind in my head. And I'm not crazy, bro. But wasn't for being crazy, I done went insane. Yeah, six is, this is the hardest. 
This is harder than drugs, just like you just said. See how we just said. Why do you want to screenshot that card? You know what I mean? If you have any questions or answers, just look up QRT, bro. They got a website. I just told you it. You know what I mean? You want to screenshot it again? Why? Well, so you can put it as a uh, thumbnail on one of them haters' uh, videos up there. I'm not no idiot. You're the first one that came in here and asked to be in the videos to make a mockery of himself. I'm sorry that you guys are still on that, but it's coming to an erupt end. You know what I mean? I just like just like you to know that. And that's a fact, a hundred percent fact. So this fire safe shit, huh? Hold that card up again. You know what I mean? Uh, I can give you a number one eight six six eight hundred zero seven seven eight. You want to talk to that, or I can give you the extension straight to where I go. But I ain't want to do that either. You know what I mean? The Chantex didn't work for me, man. It made me have headaches and everything. Well, Butrin worked for me. That's right. You should be loyal to your friend, brother. If they borrow one sheet, they shall give seven back. A lot of people don't understand that, you know. They don't, they don't even understand the concept of what seven back means and stuff. You see what I mean, brother? They're still living in the reality of drugs and want to be on the internet and this and that you know how many people i've heard that from i want to be famous man how did you get like this or that be who you are and speak the truth is all i can tell you yeah there you go nightmares and headaches yep different side effects on different people i bet that's rough as shit the only thing that helps me with the cigarettes is the patches and I can also get you started on him if you need help on that, which you should be able to do that yourself. Him in one eight hundred, I quit for any state. Uh, I just like to get on here now and let everybody know Dirty's clean, clean as can be. You ain't gonna see me fall down no damn rabbit holes, nothing like that. Mm -mm. Nope. I feel so good. You see what I mean? I'm up at probably seven every morning. Outside, I already almost got that full wheel completely rebuilt already. You see what I mean? I got to stay proactive. And I'll come back in here and I'll write my daily report down. You see what I mean? From 6 a.m. to 12, I'll write down every hour what I was doing. And I'll take that to my day report. You see what I mean? I don't write. I don't just write, oh, I had supper and put a big line on this and that. I write exactly what happened because... If you're going to do this, you have to tr actually try to do this. I don't have to go to groups and stuff, guys. You do know this, right? I choose to do that. Number one peer recovery person. Right here. Who ever thought of that? Just like they called me to the back office and told me. We're so proud of you. You know? And, and I'm, I told him, I said, you know, it's not, you know. Cold turkey is the way to go besides benzo and alcohol. I have a prescription for what I take. They can't, you know what I mean, mess with my uh, benzo diet pain or nothing like that. Because, you know, it's just funny because when he came back, he was like, uh, you failed, man, for benzos. I was like, yeah, ain't that what my prescriptions? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> because every time you go in, they count your medications. They scan your thing. You see what I'm saying? To let you know that you monthly rebuild all that stuff. That's what I'm dealing with now, guys. Oh, Shelby, I'm not beating myself up. Not when you've been on something 25 years and I wouldn't even be talking to you unless I had had it. See what I mean? I took my last one earlier. I wouldn't even speak to you right now. I have one of the biggest social anxiety disorders that's ever. But when Darkie's clean from everything else, it actually works how it's supposed to, not that other shit. 
That's right. Thank you, Mike McGray. My friend, check this out. I couldn't believe this doctor did her like this. She said she was getting thin and all. Okay, I've never had a taste for that either. At Betty or Petty. I call it Petty Betty. I was like, anybody want to in jail? I said, anybody want to Petty? Petty? Pitties? I call them pitties like that. And they're like, yeah, man, I want some. I said, can you fit these fucking balls in your mouth? Everybody went crazy. Bam, bitch. That's the only thing you're going to get from me. <laughs> I said, you damn, man, I've been here so long. Your mouth's looking pretty, buddy. You fuck with them, you know what I mean? You think when I went to jail that I wasn't, you know what I mean, that I was some bitch that laid on the floor or something? <laughs> I was offered to come in every cell. I was offered everything. Every drug known to man. You know what I said? No. I've been in the fucking hole for eight days. I'm clean from everything. The moment I touch that shit, I'm going to be a sick motherfucker again. I'm done, dude. You know what I mean? And my boys can believe that. They can believe it. Two weeks after I get out, my celly is dead. I sleep above him every night. And they just had moved this one boy in there for almost killing a boy and shit while he was in his cell. So when I spoke to his mother about everything, you know what I mean? It seems like, you know what I mean? There could be foul play up in that motherfucker, man. That's the only thing I can think of, man. That breaks my heart because I know that, you know, what he was in there for was really violent. But death is up to only one person, guys. I'm sorry. You know, that's just how I feel. It ain't up to you. It ain't your, your hands ain't the ones to do it. And that was a really close friend of mine, you know what I mean? He didn't deserve to die. He didn't get the death penalty or nothing for what he did. You know, he beat a guy up with a bat, you know, and stuff. That sold him some wrong drugs, and he was messed up on drugs. The boy he needed, to, he had mental issues major. He would sit there and talk to himself. Yeah, that's him. yeah, he told me, though, he said, if I get a duck and something, man, he said, I can't handle this no more, Dirk. I mean, he's crying when he said, you know what I mean, I'll never forget this, you know what I mean? He said, when you leave, he said, it's going to be so fucking boring, man, because I'm the kind of, y'all know me, I like to make you guys laugh, you know, things like that. I had four inmates tell me that, when you leave, it's going to be so boring. And he was my celly, he said, dude, if I get a hold of pen, oh, I'm, I'm out. I don't know what he meant by that. I'm out. All it takes is goddamn. Like my buddy said, he said, "Man, I did a hairline this shit." We was talking about it in peer recovery. I said, "Is that car fit?" No shit, dude. They they just want you dead. That's just a, that's a goddamn population control of you fucking nut. He said, "You couldn't even taste the shit." He said, "But three hours later, I was fucking in the operating room, fucking being brought back to life." Then this one dude tells me, guys, okay, listen to this. His meth high came down. He breaks into the Dow Alice Center to get warm, but when his mass high comes down, he thinks he should still to keep his adrenaline going. <laughs> then I have four or five tell me I'm not leaving till winter is over. They give me three meals a day of vomit. You have to hold your nose to even try to get a bite of. You see what I mean? Compassary is nothing but a bunch of sweet shit. You see what I mean? People say, oh, you get big in jail, this and that. Yeah, you do, once you start eating slop. Because all it is is starch. And you have no choice. Once you're in there a week and a half and your stomach feels like you're going to shit it out. Hey, Bill, I, I, I swear to God, I thought, you know what I mean? I felt so, my, my mind crossed for people in Africa. That's what my mind kept going to. If they can starve like that, I can starve like that. You see what I mean? And everybody there, you know, if you holler trays and the trays weren't coming, you probably get a fight started real quick. That's how much food meant to people in there. And that broke my heart, man. And they had also had uh, the National Guard helping them because they're short of staff. They maced a blind kid that I've known my whole life. What kind of shit is this? You see what I mean? They got me, never had a felony, never been had a conviction in his life, in B3, where dude just shoots his mother-in-law. This dude beats a dude to death. This other one shot four people, and I'm in here with them? 
You trying to scare tactic me, you motherfucker? Because as soon as I spoke one name, that's all it took, man. Like I told the, the police, there's like, uh -huh. And you know what the booking guy told me? Have you ever heard of a dispatcher calling back and saying, rough him up? A fucking 911 dispatcher. That right there will always stand with me to the day I die. I didn't say a word. I put my head down. I cooperated. I want the, the first thing we issued the warrant for was for this right here. Because I asked him the whole time, is it on? Please tell me it's on. If it's on, this right here is going to be mine. If that was on, and like you said it was, you, oh boy. You know? And I was like, wow. And I was like, what the hell? You know, I told you I'm not resisting, and it got me for obstruction. The whole time I'm hollering, I'm not resisting before he puts the cuffs on me. How's that obstruction, guys? Okay, and another thing. Wouldn't he body slam me? If I was a state trooper and somebody was resisting my arrest, they'd be getting tased or hitting the damn ground real hard. Like, where she asks me where she is, I walked back there and I told her, I said, hey, the police is here for you. You see what I mean? Not even in the same room. I said, hey, the police is here for you. You know what I mean? Okay. They have no warrant. Nothing. The way this stays, they have to ask the homeowner to come in this house. Not me. The homeowner, which is my mother right now and my son. That's who's on the deed. <laughs> and then, check this out, Stephen. They come back with a search warrant six hours later. With someone sitting on my commode, they put a 45 in my brother's face that is handicapped. Listen to this. Here's the part that really gets me. And there's someone in the bathroom saying that they come out. They can't come out. They're constipated. Any cop would have kicked that fucking door straight in to make sure his life was not a danger. That is your rat right there. Has to be. Nobody sits around with warrants. This is how I felt at that point. Because when I read my papers, they come in my house on the 9th. It says this has been going on since the 7th. Then I don't get charged to the 16th. They don't even know what they're doing. Then I can show you the paperwork, man. So whatever has been on YouTube and said is fucking absurd, dude. I ain't facing no five and six charges. I'm facing one. One man, I could have, you know, I could have PR'd out on an obstruction officer, PR'd out, but they still want, you know, just like my lawyer said, they want the rights to your guns. No fucking way, because I, I had beautiful guns. No way, no way, man. Thank you, KO, sweetheart. You know, you're doing really good yourself too, sweetie. You know. I'm not going to let them bring me down like I said I wasn't, you know. Like all my true people in here said, you know, you should finish your podcast or if you keep doing your podcast, that helps me stay proactive and stuff, sweet, you know. And support systems like you guys that I really know are supporting me, that helps a lot. Best believe that, you know. But I just sat here and told you what led to my addiction, didn't I? I was arrested, everything. You see what I'm saying? Never been convicted of a misdemeanor, felony, anything. But was treated, you know what they called me? Darky McVeigh. Because I always do this. And they had the picture and the drawing of me. You know what I mean? I'll never forget that. That's what they call me. And then they other call this other motherfucker Jimmy Bin Laden. And guess where he is from, Boone County. That's 14 people in the pod, seven of them was from Boone County from the same cop. The same fucking cop arrested every one of us. Is that a power trip much? I mean, come on, man. 
when I actually, you know, being a public figure, I had the right to write the actual media, and he also turned that down live on his camera. Uh, I'll try to keep it going as long as I can, uh, Taylor Sweetheart. You know, a lot of people just said, I've heard that from so many. This one woman inspired me so much. She said, I hope she's still living too. You know, she said, when I do my chemo, she said, the only thing, what am I clean from? Everything, brother. Does it look like I'm on anything? Does it look like I'm, come on guys, back that up. My family's even in here. I pissed tomorrow. You think I'm not clean? Here, let me let me let me hit this lighter for it. My zip open. Let me hit that real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a lawsuit on my hands, but do I want to push it and deal with them some more? You know, I probably don't. You know, I don't want to deal with them no more. You know, it's just been. Month after month of a layover, a layover, okay, and what they will try to do is indict you, okay, on a felony, a felony indictment, okay, when you look at my charges, there's no way that I'm happen. not when Boone County is dealing with 10 murders right now, that's not happening, sorry, as soon as the prosecutor, I heard her speak, she said, we do not wish to indict, the state does not wish to indict, we will continue this on February the 8th. We don't wish to indict then. You see what I mean? It gets thrown out. I have 15 witnesses. 15 witnesses, people. Five of them character witnesses. That means not family. The only body you know that would really back her up would be who she ran off with, which made her a non-reliable witness. It gave her a motive to do everything she did. Ellie, that's right. Amen, girl. Your worst day clean will always be better than. So I just now got to start back on here and doing this because I'm a different person. I stopped at your shop, Matt, and bought some things not uh, too long ago. Mom bought a dress, and I grabbed this West Virginia thing and stuff. I want to come down there. Give me a deal on them Kentucky uh, culture nights, man. On that set, you got them a little bit expensive, my head. How you been, brother? That boy right there has known me my whole life. My whole life. I could pull my shirt up and he'll tell you. He'll be like, yep, he's definitely off drugs. I weigh 100 and almost 70 pounds now, man. See? Look what he just said. You look good. Keep it up. See what I'm saying? I promise you, bro. I can't even get my abs out no more. I'm getting so fat, honestly. You know what I mean? But you know I ain't going to lose them babies. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, I'm proud to be clean, you know? Yeah, Chris, it's one day at a time. If you need somebody to talk to, man, feel free to hit up me because I ain't got nobody to talk to. I just sat here and, you know, I'll play some PS4, Pro, 5, whatever it may be, you know, and then just sit and chill. That's what I was doing when I was stuck in the jail. I was playing a game or I'll write music. That's what I do probably mostly is, you know what I mean, I put, you know, the song that sticks out to me the most right now is, you know what I mean, there's a plane flying out here tonight with an empty first class seat, you know what I mean, because I finally got all my priorities in line, and that's right where I need to be, I sing that fucking shit, I sing it every day in jail, you know what I mean, we're at what beach? Don't say Virginia. But anyway, Matt, uh, they're in that one store. They're Kentucky Culture. I, I got a knife that goes in this one. They're this brand right here. Kentucky Culture, man. Hold them back for me. You know I'm your brother. I'll come down there and buy them from you. You know what I mean? I got old timers. I mean, you know it. You know what I mean? You know me and my knives. Junior just got his first deer. I'm looking at four or five knives right now. Yeah, no, I do something like that. You know what I mean? Any single women, it's not crazy. <laughs> you got to wait until, you know what I mean, spring and shit hits back up and we will. Yeah, that's, you know, uh, 
I was going to say, hell yeah, Gary Allen. I feel so bad for him. His wife shot himself. Dude, he's one of my favorite artists. Her man. Loving you against the wheel, all that. I don't want dumb. You know what I mean? I don't want somebody in a sense. Because I've had dumb. But anyway, old Chris, I got something to say to you right there. You see how you stop the interest and all that. What was your interest? Getting your next high. Tell me it wasn't. Where am I going to get that next time, man? You know what I mean? Hey, they're out there, buddy. They're out there. And that's what it was. You see what I mean? Where's that next high coming from, man? You know? And I got offered a job back at the mines because, you know, uh, they'll be at April, something like that, buddy. But anyway, you know, there's like, dude, we'd love to hire you and give you a job. You know, we see how good you're doing and everything and blah, blah, blah. You know how good that made me feel to get that phone call myself from someone that runs a company. Yeah, I'm chasing the bottom of that bottle, bud. You know what I mean? I'm chasing that bottle. <laughs> yeah, they are out there. Yes, they are, buddy. You know what I mean? But for fun, you know what's up. <laughs> you know what's up. But like I said, you know, I just sat here and explained the whole story, what brought me down and put me where I was, guys. And it opened my eyes really well. I was almost in there for three weeks straight, the whole first, you know what I mean? Got the shower one day the first week, you know. You, you wouldn't believe I had to sleep on concrete floor with no pillow, nothing, guys. See what I mean? I was made to be done like that. You think it, like I told him, I said, you think it's going to fucking bend? You might bend me a little bit, but you're not breaking me. I only break if I want to. This horse wants to go down to the water and drink it will. And then, you know what I mean? After I got sober and I shivered the whole night through for about nine days straight then i got into general population i was offered everything i was like no thank you i appreciate your, your, your gesture but i'm done man yeah if i can get rid of these in enough time man i seen the uh, rough and rowdy or something coming up that's all i gotta drop now you know what i mean i can get back to my middleweight class that's my, what's up matt brother Sitting here talking about how I ended myself up in a corrections department. And if anybody needs any kind of help, please contact me. You know. Yeah, Nate, you've been, you've been rolling with a motherfucking strap on the side of me for years, bro. See you know what I mean? And you know the difference in me. You know. And like that one video I'm supposed to be shooting up. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm still not doing that, you see what I mean? If I was doing it, you think I wouldn't give a fuck to tell you now? Editors need to learn how to edit, is all I can say about that. Because I watched that and I laughed my ass off. One minute I got Travis Pastrana shirt on, next minute I got the other one on. Uh, J Jordan Jersey, Travis, Jordan Jersey, Tra which is it? See what I'm saying? It's all about that kind of comical, you know. Yeah, I was going to say I got about 10 more minutes to talk to my people. If anybody needs the extra talk from me or anything or needs to reach out to me, you reach out to me. You know, I'm the worst thing, if, like I said, if I can say one thing here tonight, one thing, that makes somebody want to change their mind, get clean, get sober. Yeah, I just now seen there, there, Jerry. How you doing, honey? I love you. I did my job, you know, here soon I'll start reading, um, tomorrow when I do my next one, I'll start reading chapters out of the, uh, the N.A. book, um, a couple stories that really reaches out and touches somebody, you know, it's just not my story, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that next, you know, and anybody don't like what I do here, you know what you can do, you know, you can just block me and go on. Anytime you want to pick, go you're around this way, you know what I mean? I'll bring your actions and let's get to it. I'm well as can be, honey. 
I'm doing great. I'm almost on my two months sobriety. Exactly. You lose it all. All your fucking most precious guitars, you name it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't put a lot of it out here because I don't want to want to stop them. You know? Matt, that's what kills me, Bob. I'm on ball and I can't hunt. Only thing I could do was gut my son and deer. You know how bad that bothered me. But I ain't breaking no laws. You see what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen, registered voter, registered gun owner. Like my lawyer even said, he don't understand none of this. They don't. You know, I could cost a lot of money bringing in the media and things like that. But I'm just gonna see how they want to play it. But guys, I hope you can tune in to me anytime you want to. And if I'm not on here, listen to me. But anyway, I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm here and I'm on Instagram also, so reach out to me there. Uh, I broke my iPhone. I'm getting another one tomorrow, you know, later in the next day. So that way I'll have all my platforms front and back again and everything. But like I said, if you need me, I'm here. Clean, sober, fight it. That's the way to go. I love you, my peeps.